there's a lot of conflicting information around your poops. Wouldn't you agree? How often you should be going, the color of your poops, laxatives, anti-diarrheals. It all just feels overwhelming, and I'm here to set the record straight. In this video, I'm bringing down all of the poop myths, and we're jumping right in today, folks. Let's go. <laughs> I'm Alyssa Lebrecht, nutritionist, gut expert, and as my community likes to call me, the poop queen. Let's start with myth number one. It's perfectly healthy to live on laxatives and anti-diarrheals. How should we handle this one? Ah, yes. Have you ever had a flat tire on your car and you just put more air in it, only to find out the next day it's flat again? So you put more air in it, and the same thing keeps happening day after day. And so you keep filling it up with air instead of repairing the damn tire. Well, let me tell you, eventually this repeated neglect of the root problem, you will discover the inside of your tire is fully shredded rubber and is completely ruined. Had the root of the problem been addressed and the flat tire properly repaired the first time, it would have cost you 30 bucks. But now you're in for a new tire and that's gonna cost you 200 buckaroos. Your bowels being too fast or too slow is like having a flat tire. And taking a laxative or anti-diarrheal is the most neglectful of symptom management tools. You take a laxative today, you're constipated tomorrow. All while the underlying problem continues to get worse. Unless you're only interested in managing your symptoms and taking those things day after day after day after day. We don't do that here. And that is why your symptoms ain't getting better. In fact, they're likely getting worse. Instead, tackle your bowels by addressing your BDM, bacteria, deficiencies, and motility. Ready for myth number two? It's normal to poop anywhere from every couple of days to once a week. This myth comes with an explanation that so long as your poops are consistent, even if it's consistently once a week, you're good. The thing that kills me about this is consistency is not a marker of normalcy, especially if you have been consistently constipated your whole life. If you're pooping every three days, let's say, you're carrying around three days worth of toxins and waste in your gut. And that's assuming that you are properly evacuating when you do go, which most of you aren't. No wonder you feel bloated, heavy, and tired. This eventually impacts your liver function, your main detox organ. Yikes! Your bowels should be moving one to three times per day and in quantity from elbow to wrist eliminating toxins and the waste from today's meals. Let that quantity of poop really sink in for a second. I bet our constipated friends aren't particularly shocked, but I also bet that some of our diarrhea friends are thinking, but wait, I'm not pooping enough either. Now let's nerd out for a sec. If you are pooping less than elbow to wrist daily in quantity, whether pellet poops or runny poops, that constipation can be a sign of anything from low stomach acid, motility issues, inflammation, bacterial overgrowth, mineral and beneficial bacteria deficiencies, and even stress. All right, y'all, hopefully it is making a whole lot more sense as to why those laxatives and antidiarrheals aren't working. <laughs> Last but not least, myth number three. If your poop changes colors, there's something seriously wrong. Deep breaths. Well, yes, changing poop colors can be an indicator of serious health conditions, but it can also mean so much more. For example, black stool can indicate cancer, but it can also occur with iron supplementation. A red stool could mean blood, and in severe cases, tell us that there's hemorrhoids or cancer going on. But eating beets or even red food coloring, which we don't recommend, can give you red poops too. A yellow colored stool can tell us that you're not digesting your fats properly, but it can also be eating a ton of foods rich in beta carotene or vitamin A, like sweet potato and carrots. We always encourage you to do your due diligence and not to dismiss messages coming from your body. 
and for the overthinkers, the worry warts, and stressors of the world. Before jumping to worst case scenario, take an honest look at all possibilities before landing in Meltdown Town, because chances are you're good. All right, my friend, I know perfect poops are on your to-do list, and as we wrap up this video, I feel it my responsibility as your poop queen to remind you that you are so much more than your poops. You are a mother, you are a sister, a daughter, a father, a son, a friend. You are a partner, a talented and inspiring being. Please don't let your poops occupy your mind for more than your time on the toilet. And since you're likely watching this while sitting on the toilet, before you go, hit the like button on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and make sure to share this video with your best friend you talk about your poops with. Deep breaths. Well, yes, change in the poop of your color. Your bacteria? <laughs> What's in the left? Killed it.